Okay. Do you know what happened to the courier? It might be said that I do. Mm. And it might be said that I don't. If time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. Gotcha. Either way, Mr. Young, you cannot ask me okay. to do your job for If you. time is of the essence, why do you talk so very slowly? What about that female member of the cabin crew? You mean Olivia Jones? Yes. You saw her. Did she remind you of little Peggy? <laughs> what do you know about little Peggy? Blonde, blue eyes. And a mole by her eye. This guy is some mystical time Did master. She sees guy of the same so too. Just how much do you know? Everything you told me all of it yourself. Mr. Young, you're overlaying your memories of little Peggy this guy. to Olivia, aren't you? Yes, sure. That's what I'm doing. Who are you? Just... Who are you? It was a snowy night. I remember it very well. Is what? Amanda doing okay? Sky man, sky is just He's different. Amanda. You know her too? Her well being is a good thing. A good indication of your own well. Young. Okay, hope it's the last thing. Clover. What's going on here? What have you done to me? Can you finally see them? These are things with a special What are you talking about? Catch them if you can. Mementos? What? You may discover something about her. Yeah.
What? Clover catch. Touch a clover, catch it. Game ends, you miss one. Alright. Oh! Avoid the lightning bolts, catch the clovers, I'm on it. There's 100. Alright, alright. Well, the snowflakes and stuff, should I try to catch those too or not? What the? No! If I can't miss one, I miss one, I'm screwed. Nice. Very nice. Have you Yep, I have, exactly. I remembered everything. What are you talking about? Mr. Young, I placed a memory left by her in your house. That yeah. Okay. Are we done talking to this guy now? What's he talking about? Leaving something in my house. A memory with her. Clover. Little Peggy. Could it be? Could it be indeed? Man, that guy, a five minute conversation with him takes like a month. That was ridiculous. But, another badge. Alright, we got more clues. Go back up to business class. Can I... Right, how do I look over just to the, see that? Ah, there we go. Floor peanuts are always good. There's nothing. nothing here. Another hockey magazine, sports magazine. Check it out. Column, Ice Hockey, the Frozen Duel. Ice hockey stands alongside football, baseball, and basketball. It's one of the four major sports. It's especially popular on the East Coast of America. Just what is so appealing about ice hockey then? We asked a particularly avid fan for his take. The power and speed of players, man. There's no other rush like it. No sport is fast and as brutal as hockey, man. No other. Ice hockey players reach speeds of 30 miles per hour and quite literally crash into each other in order to prevent the other team's attacks. When shot, the puck can reach speeds of over 100 miles per hour. The speedy matches and violent clash clashes between the teams are the reasons why it's known as the Frozen Duel, providing an appeal that cannot be found in other sports. Well, there you go. There are some hardcore hockey fans in the world, that's for sure. And that is why they love their sport, part of the reason. Know a lot of you guys are hockey fans. Especially where I live, in Minnesota, there is hockey fans all over the place. K 
Okay, she's still freaking out, but she doesn't have her life vest on no more. Also, wasn't she, uh... I thought she had a different color shirt on, top on, not sure. I thought it was like red. You there. Perfect timing. I can't take it anymore. Take what? What is Deborah talking about? That lightning strike electrified the floor and handrails. So I'm doing my best <laughs> not to touch them. Lady, we're all touching them. We're all fine. But I can't take it anymore. My arms, legs, neck, back, everything is screaming in pain. <laughs> Yeah, you, know, you could put your feet up. Talk to the hand. The hand will calm you. See? It's all good. It's all good. Nothing's going on. See? Second time I saved your butt today. Lightning striking an airplane. Crazy, huh? Doesn't this shaking feel odd to you? Uh, yeah, you know what? You were right, so I'm not gonna question your stuff no more, even though you're crazy. First, squeaking windows, and now seats and floors are electrified? I'm almost impressed by your capacity to worry about the mundane. Hold it! What was that about the windows? They were squeaking, right? Squeaking? The windows? You're saying the windows on this bucket squeak? <laughs> oh no, we got it started. We got it started. You got her going again. Hmm. <sighs> Gonna start losing it. Hmm. Toilet light, 33 people yeah. sniffed. What? You're pulling my leg. If the windows were really squeaking, why, we'd all be dead by now. That lightning strike would have come in through the cracked window. We'd have smashed into the sea, its surface harder than concrete. It's like Dr. Johnson always says. Fall from an airplane, and you'll die. Yes, so Dr. Johnson. Greatest doctor in all the land. There doesn't seem to be any counting in her notes. What's going on here, then? Find all the evidence, three pieces remaining. All right, well... I'm about to end it here, and we'll pick up on this later, another time. I know we're very close to finishing this episode, but I figure when we come back and do finish that, it'll be very brief, and then we'll go on to the next one. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.